Hi, I'm Martin Richards for Imperial Productions. Imperial offers a wide variety of balusters and railings for straight lengths and radius curves. Did you know that balusters are a Renaissance invention? Most people associate ancient Rome with balusters. However, they only used a Roman open lattice for their barriers and railings. Our non-wood selection comes in kit forms and is made from arc polymer, which is rot, water, and insect resistant. All parts come white primed and ready to paint. The further advantage of arc polymer is that it is lightweight in comparison to concrete, especially for second floor and roof applications. Certain models even have a faux stone look. Most of our line is certified and meets US and Canadian building codes. The kits include full and half newel posts, top rails, bottom rails, full and half balusters, and hardware kits and supporting blocks under the bottom rails. To be architecturally correct, there should be a half a baluster at each end of a run of balusters. The half baluster intersects with the full newel post or half newel post up against the wall. So let's look how a typical layout should be planned. The building code says that there should be no more than four inches of space between the balusters and between the rails and the substrate. This is called the four inch ball rule. The ball rule applies to the distance between balusters, the distance between the bottom rail and the deck, the distance between the balusters and the newel posts. Rails are typically eight foot, 10 foot, and 12 foot in length. To join rails together, you need a newel post in between. Heights are also dictated by the building code, okay? To be 42 inches from the top rail to the floor. In some jurisdictions, they say that 36 inches allowed on the first floor. For ground level garden decoration, there is no height requirement. You can have the bottom of the rail sit on the deck or raised above it. If you choose to have the bottom rail elevated to get the total height to 42 inches, the gap of four inches must be added to the height of the bottom rail, the height of the baluster, and the thickness of the top rail. You must end up with 42 inches or 36 inches. You can exceed these heights as well. In order to be structurally sound, the balusters have an internal support as well as the top and bottom rail. So inside there is a PVC pipe in the top rail and the bottom rail and also a PVC pipe or an aluminum pipe within the balusters. If you have a damaged baluster or you need a certain size or you're trying to historically recreate a baluster that you have already, uh, Imperial can produce uh, custom balusters or historic reproductions. Uh, simply send us a photograph and size and we'll quote it for you. To speed up your install, we offer a series of services. They can pre-drill the top and bottom rail for the baluster placement. We can offer you full assembly for shipping. Uh, you can have the balusters completely painted. Also a fire protectant for commercial projects can be put into the mix to give you a class A fire rating. Our designers at Imperial can help you plan your railing system. Sim simply email your name, address, and phone number to us. Select the baluster and send us a sketch drawing of your layout and we'll do the rest for you. We will make sure that all the components necessary are documented in our quote and meet the building code.